How's it going, everyone? My name is Dave, and welcome to another Discussions and Rants video. Well, at this point, I guess you could just call it a Discussions video on, you know, psychological stuff, or therapeutic topics, or neurology, or whatever term you want to use. Um, speaking of, before I begin this video, huge shoutouts to D9 and Matthew Tenen. I'm not going to read their direct comments, but they did comment on the last video about evolution, life, purpose, and afterlife. If you guys want to check out that video, um, I'll either have a card up here, link down there, or it'll definitely be in the playlist I'll have up over here at the end of the video. That being said, let's go ahead and get started with the topic of this episode. Now, Today, I'm actually going to be talking... I created a list after reading the comment that Danny left last time, um, or D9, I uh, left last time, and I found a list of different topics that I could discuss. The first one that really popped out to me was, and a lot of people are going to recognize this particular aspect, is what is the difference between happiness and joy? Specifically, pure happiness and joy. Now, this kind of hard hits on something that a lot of people seem to get confused about, but there are many people who don't. And it also depends on the perspective of other people. Some people may think it's different than others, which I'm going to hit on a few different examples that are completely irrelevant from the other, just to kind of give an idea of where my mindset sits on this. With that said, let's get started. I'm going to start with the idea of relationships, the topic of relationships where this could come into place. Now, uh, this also kind of hits on the difference between love and lust, in my mind. Happiness can come out of lust, but not really love. A lot of people have been calling lust love, but the way I see it, love is the actual care towards somebody, where lust is just that's it. That's all you get off of it. This and the pleasure that comes off of it, but not, you know, actual care, the enjoyment of each other's company, just being there, and, you know, the satisfaction that you get off of being cared for. I know I've, all of us, all of us I'm sure have felt that at some point in time. Um, but, Point, creating that differential, that's where my idea of happiness and joy comes into play. The happiness comes from, like, in this sense, it comes from, like, again, that pleasure aspect. Or just the feeling of somebody being there for you. That can also bring on joy, but the emphasize... emphasize of what, what is the term I'm looking for? The emphasized aspect, let's go with that of joy would really come from the aftermath of knowing that that person would always be there for you. It's, that's where, that the core of that, for me at least, comes from the idea that you have real joy when you're married to someone and you know that someone will always be there. Um, there are marriages that don't go well and that's not the case, but there are also marriages that are purely binding, that are always, the husband and wife are truly always there for each other, that they're just meant for each other. I guess you could assume kind of like a fairy tale. Now, I'm not going to grind on this particular aspect, but that's kind of what, how I see joy. It's like when you know the person is always there for you, will always be there for you if you need them. True friendship or true relationship. That's joy in my eyes, whereas happiness is just temporary. Now, permanent and temporary being thrown out there, that leads me to probably another pretty good example I can use um, between happiness and joy. And this more has to do with, I would say, well, the feeling of completing things. Happiness, I'll use in the example, like, let's let's use a topic that I go off of a lot, video games. 
hundred percenting. Let's go with that. For me specifically, I'll use myself as a good example for this. Um, if I were to play through, oh, I don't know, Paper Mario. If I were to only like, well, no, no, Paper Mario would not be a good example. Let's go Super Mario 64 instead. Um, if I were to go through the game and only get like this 60, 70 required stars to beat Bowser at the end of the game, I'd feel a sense of happiness. Yes, I beat the game! But there would always be that lingering aspect of, but you didn't, you didn't, not really. Y you didn't satisfy yourself entirely. You're still lingering on, but what happens if I 100%? Like nowadays, everyone knows, but you you meet Yoshi at the top of the castle. That's really it. But you have more satisfaction off of 100%ing something. Um, for those who actually don't know that, well, yeah, that's it's nothing too special. Aside from the fact that you get the joy off of knowing you can do it. You can get through the entire game 100%ing it, which is more satisfactory than just going in and saying, yep, I beat the game. whoop de doo That's how my mind would go, at least. Difference between joy and sat joy, a.k.a. Uh, in, I wouldn't say inevitable satisfaction, between joy and happiness. Temporary satisfaction and permanent satisfaction. Like, for me, there are some games where I just, I'm only able to get through it once. I will be ultimately satisfied if I completely beat the game entirely. Nothing else to do. I'll be fully satisfied. Joy going through my mind. I'm like, yes, did it. And I would probably never play it again, depending on the game. Now, this is just one kind of example. Another one, again, was the whole relationship thing. But let's go off of one more angle for this video. Joy and happiness. Let's go off of more of a financial and or job-related kind of way. More realistic kind of way of a than relationship. If you were to, I don't know, say work at Burger King or McDonald's or um, an industry that's, you know, good for temporary aspect, but if you hit it on a permanent, not a lot of people would prefer that. But if you were to go through that, well, would you feel happy that you are able to provide for yourself or joyous that you're able to get through life like this? Look at it that way. I'll take me for example. Right now I work fast food. I'm not going to say what industry at all. I think I may have before. If I have, then whoops. I don't like talking about that too much. But am I happy with my current situation? I'm fine with it, yeah. I'm happy that I'm able to make, like, you know, live, be able to do what I'm doing. But am I joyful about it? Would I be willing to keep it for the rest of my life? Hell nah. No. No way. Uh-uh. Like, if you get that kind of response off of anything, then you're obviously not joyous with what you permanently would have if you ended up in that situation. But... That's the big difference in my mind between happy and joyous. Temporary and permanent. Would you rather be permanently happy or temporarily happy? Or should I say, would you rather be joyous or happy? Because happiness does only is only temporary, but joyous is everlasting. At least that's how I see it. If you guys have any other examples, if you do agree with me, or if you have a different perspective on this, go ahead and let me in the comment let me know in the comments below. I would be more than satisfied more than joyful. Okay, enough jokes. <laughs> but I'll be very happy to see uh, what you guys have to say. I'll definitely... I, I'd love to see that. Um, if you did 
enjoy this video, enjoy what I had to say about it, if you agreed or disagreed, again, let me know down there. And make sure to click that like button. Um, if you want to see more, let me know as well. If you have any topic ideas for me, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could let me know down there in the comments as well. A lot of to a lot of things to put down there. I know. If you have one of all of one of each, just go ahead, knock yourself out. I don't mind. Um, that being said, I am looking forward to discussing more different topics in the future. But for right now, I am going to head off. But I'll see you guys later. Bye now.